Hey cuties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share my May challenge, what I'm going to do to continue to lose weight. I hope you stick around. Hi, my name is Cindy. I just want to introduce myself. I don't think I've done that in a while. So in today's video, I'm just going to share, like I mentioned, what I'm doing for May to challenge myself. I am on a weight loss journey. I'm going to say actually more of a health journey. Um, I'm trying a few new things for May. And if you saw my April results video, I'll put that, I'll link it down below. Um, you'll see that I kind of wanted to change a few things up for May. So I apologize in advance. I'm going to be looking down. I have some notes here because I don't want to miss anything. So if you're new here, I would love you to subscribe and hit that bell notification. Hit the like button if you like these videos. I mostly share things about weight loss. I also do some low carb grocery hauls. I share some recipes sometimes, all the good stuff. So I hope you enjoy that. And if you do, subscribe. Thank you. So let's get started. So number one, let's, I gotta take a deep breath. <laughs> Number one, I'm going to continue to drink lemon water, which is what I did in April. Um, really more for the hydration. I get up in the morning, I immediately have a glass of lemon water. I just squeeze a little bit of fresh lemon in some water. It's about eight ounces or so. I drink it down, go about my day. Um, so yeah, I kind of got in the habit of it. I don't know that it's helping anything necessarily. Um, I did read some things, different um, things that it helps you with, <laughs> that it's good for. Um, but I'm going to stick with that as just kind of my hydration for the day to get it started. Next thing, I'm going to continue my meditation. I do between 10, 15, sometimes 20 minutes of meditation before I even have breakfast in the morning. I kind of get it out of the way. Um, it feels good. It relaxes me. Um, I kind of give myself a pep talk a little bit for the day. So I'm going to continue that. The other thing is the collagen powder. I mentioned in my April video, I do drink the collagen. I still do it. I don't do it every day. I do it a few days a week and I'm going to continue with that. It has a lot of protein and a lot of benefits for my skin and things like that. So I'm going to continue doing that. And the next thing I'm going to do is, again, I also mentioned in my April video, actually, I'm going to link below my results video and what I challenged myself so you guys can see. I'm going to stay in a calorie deficit, which for me is between 1,500 and 1,600 calories. Now, I try to really stick to that 1500 because according to the calculator, which I will try to link the one I use below. Uh, I may have already done that, but I'll, I'll try to do that again. 1500 is kind of about my safe zone, if you want to say that. I'm just trying to give myself a little leeway. Um, of course, I'm never going to be perfect every single day. But just a little leeway. So I say between 1,500 and 1,600 calories a day. And I am going to do low carb. I am not doing the carb cycling again, although I kind of unintentionally am doing it. <laughs> I kind of eat a little more carbs one day, then I cut back a little and have a little more protein the next day. Totally not like planned, it just kind of happens. I am trying to stick within the 100 grams of carbs. Most days I'm doing less. I'm trying to keep it lower. Um, 55 grams of, of protein is kind of hard. <laughs> it's kind of hard, um, but somewhere around there. One day I was quite low. I was really shocked and I felt so good that day. I have to say high protein, low carb, oof, it just makes me feel so good. I have so much more energy. So I am, 100 grams is what's suggested for me to still lose weight for my body and my age and height and all of that. But I do try to stick under that, maybe 60, 
so grams of carbs. Um, the protein, I'm trying to get 120 to 140 a day. It's hard and I eat meat, I eat cheese, I eat eggs, egg whites, I do it all and it, it's still very hard. The only thing I don't do that most people do, I think, who do a high protein diet is the protein shakes. I'm just, I'm not interested in that right now. It's not for me. Certainly, if it's for you, that's great. Give them a try. I have to really just do some more research. Um, I have kind of dabbled in the protein bars a little bit, and I dabbled in the Fairlife protein shakes, which I still, I have them in my fridge right now. Um, I had one, I think, after I went to the gym, because I know they talk about having protein after the gym, after you do weight training. Um, I'm just, I don't have them every day. I try to get my protein in things like low fat cheese and chicken and turkey and things like that. That's just my preference right now. I'm going to keep looking into the protein powders to kind of up my protein game, but not right now. I wanted to talk about the working out. So I've switched things up a little bit. So over the years, I've dabbled in a lot of exercise, <laughs> different things, going to the gym, not going to the gym, um, trying classes, weights, cardio, the treadmill. I've, I've done it all, yoga. Um, so, I've been doing a little bit of reading. As you get older, they say that you should start strength training if you're not already, um, and really make that a priority over cardio. So I decided to incorporate that now. Now it's been a while since I've really done weights. I've never found quite a routine that I liked. If I didn't take a class, I didn't know what to do on my own. So again, I did a lot of reading and looking up what I could do and came up with a routine. So I'm going to do that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I've actually started already, <laughs> full disclosure. Um, I go to my local gym. I do the routine. It takes about 40 minutes, including stretching and warming up, which is a five minute treadmill workout. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have my whole routine and what I'll do is after the full month of May of doing that, I'm going to switch it up a little in June. I will either add heavier weights or increase my sets, probably increase my sets. Even though I'm at a very low weight, I have a little bit of a shoulder issue, so I don't want to injure myself. So I'm taking it really, really slow. I mean, time's on my side at this point. <laughs> You know, I, I can take my time, there's no rush. So that's probably what I'm gonna do, but stick around for that video um, in June to see what I do for that. I'm excited because I wanna see my results in May. Stay tuned for that video too. I took measurements this time around, which I hadn't done the last few times. Um, I was just counting, you know, my weight on the scale. So I did take measurements and I took before pictures. Little embarrassing, but I had to do it. I actually took a video, not a photo, a video of my front and side. I really wanna be able to visually see my progress. So I'm excited about that. So on the days I'm not going to weight lift, and by the way, on those Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I also add cardio into that on my own. Either it's walking outside with a friend or my dad or my mother, um, or I do a walk video at home. It depends like what I'm doing, but I definitely still incorporate cardio. I just think it's good for my mental health, really. I know there's controversy as to whether it's really burning fat, but I feel good when I do it. And then on the other days, so on Mondays and Fridays, I do a HIIT training session. I keep it really short. Right now I'm doing Leslie Sansone. She has two of them actually. And I do those on Mondays and Fridays. It's about 15, 20 minutes. Again, as you get older, they say the HIIT training is really good for you. So <laughs> I enjoy it. I, I love Leslie Sansone's videos. If you haven't checked them out, um, I 
believe she's retired, but you can go on YouTube and find them from years ago even. Um, plus she has a new kind of group of people doing the videos, so there's some newer ones on there too. So check that out. I am going to stick with the chair yoga on Wednesdays. I know I mentioned in my April video, I stopped doing it. I don't know why. I just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> so I started doing it again in May. It just makes me feel good again. It really stretches me out, stretching that I wouldn't normally do myself. Um, it kind of relaxes me and I really enjoy it. So that's on Wednesdays. And I kind of didn't talk too much about the nutrition and how I'm going to be eating. So let me just kind of reiterate that. Again, I'm going to stick to low carb. I just, it makes me feel good. It's easy to stick to, sort of. <laughs> Hard to get a lot of protein, but again, I'm working on that. But um, really low carb. And when I say low carb, I'm not doing keto. I'm not doing... Um, where I'm not eating fruits and vegetables. I'm doing all of that, sticking within my 15 to 1600 calories a day. And again, on the kind of lower end of the carbs, under 100 grams. Um, what else? Oh, and when I do eat carbs, I wanted to mention this. I'm eating things like whole wheat pasta, brown rice, um, whole wheat tortillas or low carb tortillas. I really try to stick to those things most of the time. So I find it works for me. Um, yeah, and I think I covered everything. <laughs> that was a lot of stuff to talk about. I hope you guys are still here. Um, if you are on your own weight loss journey, I would love to hear about it in the comments. So let me know what you're doing, how you're doing. I love to kind of do it with people. It's a lot more fun. So let's do this together. And I hope you hit that bell notification because like I mentioned, at the end of May, probably beginning of June maybe, I will give you an update on how I did for May and what my weigh-in results are. I'm probably not gonna measure myself, but we'll see if I do. I'll let you know how that goes. And have a great night.